Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So, an announcement. As you can see behind this little laptop here, I got a new computer. This thing is huge, by the way. It doesn't look that big in the camera, I don't think, but 27 inch, it is giant. Now, the reason why I got that is I have been trying to do the 4K editing on this little thing. This is from 2000, I think, 13. <laughs> And which is uh, in computer age, that's a grandpa. Um, and uh, granted, it is a Mac. It is a MacBook Pro, and I've had it for a long time. And it did okay up until uh, I started doing 4K editing. And it's just not doing great anymore. This thing is uh, super slow. In fact, um, I have to edit half of the video, uh, turn it off wait an hour until it cools down, turn it back on, finish the video, turn it off, and then turn it back on to be able to upload the video, which has taken me crazy long time for all that, and it's really annoying. And the thing I think is gonna die anytime soon. Um, it's just old. <laughs> Look at this, uh, you know, even the charging cord, which you can get a new one. In fact, I do. Uh, my dad had, had an old one that he gave me, and uh, that he's not using anymore. So I'm about ready to switch that out. In fact, I think I'm going to sell this as soon as I get this fully set up. So if you guys are interested, anyone is interested in buying a good MacBook Pro, this thing's great. It just doesn't do 4K editing very well because it's from 2013. But it's super fast, super great for 99% of the stuff. In fact, I, I do web design as a living and it always did great with Photoshop and everything. It's just kind of bogging down when it comes to the really heavy-duty 4K video editing. In fact, so much, look at what I'm doing here. Do you see that? That is a TV, frozen TV dinner. I've got a stick underneath that because um, it gets so hot, you can't even, can't even touch it. It is so hot. Uh, doing the 4K editing, everything else, it does okay. Uh, but it is a screaming fast computer. In fact, I'm uploading something, and you guys will see. It's a video of a... Brahma bugger, which actually, by the time this comes out, I'm sure that will already have come out. Anyway, this is what I've got. I've got a completely new um, computer here. It's a desktop. Uh, these are great, wonderful. Look how thin that is. It is great. Um, so what I did, I'm going to give you guys a little, in case you ever buy one of these, and hopefully they continue this for a long time, but a little trick on how to save some money if you're wanting an upgraded version, especially something that can, uh, um, you know, do 4K editing or any kind of video editing. This thing is the top of the line you can get. It's the 4.2 gigahertz, which at this time in the uh, day, I think a four core a processor, um, it's got a two gig hard drive, uh, two terabyte, sorry, um, hard drive, um, fusion. Uh, but you know, it's one of the higher ends that you can get but I elected to only get eight gigs of RAM. In fact, this has 16 gigs of RAM in it. Um, but I've got a little trick for you on how to get cheaper RAM. Same RAM, this is not junky stuff from China, this is real stuff. It just saves you a lot of money. Um, top of line you can get with it, but um, I elected for the cheapest possible option with the RAM, which is eight gigs. That's the lowest you can get. And I'm hiding my address here, but that is 32 gigs of RAM in this package right here. Um, so I will give you guys a quick rundown on what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace it myself. It's very easy, there's a little pop out thing. You can stick the RAM right in. And uh, it is gonna be ready to uh, um, have, it's at 32 plus eight is in there. So it'll be 40 gigs of RAM. That's insane guys. Um, I think you can get up to 64 with it. It costs you a, a, like 2400 extra dollars, which I'm not doing. This cost me $300, and Apple, I think, wanted to charge a ridiculous amount, like 650 or some craziness like that, to have 32 gigs. This is 32 gigs for 347, plus I still got those eight in there, so we'll make a 40 total. Let me show you what I'm gonna do, in case you guys are interested and can save you three, 400 bucks on one of these computers. Okay, guys, so here's a computer, and I kept, the plastic on the front to help protect the screen, okay? Uh, so that way, uh, you know, I just got in the mail and I kind of, you know, arranged putting, uh, getting this RAM in at the same time. So you want to just set it down 
face down. Especially on something soft if you can. So then I've got the ram that came, and I'm just going to open it up, get it prepared and ready. And then it came with the RAM. And that's 32 total gigs, 216 gigs. And that's what I did with this one. You want the 216s if you're going to upgrade the same way. Uh, otherwise, you can get four 16s and make this a 64 gig. But I'm just going to use what's in there right now. Let me zoom you guys in. So if you guys notice right here, and excuse the darkness in here. There's just not enough light in this, this house. But there is a button that you press, and that helps you lift up. You can usually do it with your fingers. You might need something to pry this. There we go. And that lifts up. Boom. That is out of there. And then, let's see what you guys can see here. You pop. That lifts those up. And I am going to Now they're in there tight, but I'm going to take out the one and stick it, the furthest one there, and then stick it in next to the other. So there's two eights, and now we're going to open this package. Now I think there's a serial, if you notice there's a serial number, I think that goes down or towards the top of the computer. Then you want to really make sure that's in there solid, okay? Um, and again, this area right there, that gold spot kind of goes down. And then you can push this back in, okay? And then this goes back on top. You gotta kind of snap it in there, you're not gonna break it. Anyway, there we go. And let's go test this. All right, well there we go. Um, now it's got the RAM in there. Of course, I still got this plastic on there, so I am gonna take that off. got to plug it in and turn it on. So to find this info, you go to About This Mac, and then it comes up with this info. And as you can see, it says 40 gigs. But if you click the memory, it'll show that there's two 16 gigs, and two 4 gigs installed. So that makes a total of 40 gigs. But as you can see, I got 40 gigs and 42 gigahertz iCore 7. So, I mean, it's a pretty fast computer and it should do everything that I need.